All right, Russian Empire, uh, round three of Operation 1.5. With my money to spend, I'm gonna buy one rail, one fighter, two artillery, um, and uh, and then six infantry. Yeah, 18 on six infantry, 13 on a fighter and two artillery. Quadruple check to make sure my math is right on that. Yes, it is, and one on a rail, okay. All right, I got some moves to do, got some interesting things that happened. Austria-Hungary declared war against the U.S., so now the U.S. is going to be in, get, in, get to be involved in the war. Um, Russia um, got some things to do. Uh, one quick little clarification with Austria-Hungary's uh, video. Um, Man Man forgot about a rule, and uh, he brought his fighter in to attack Romania. And unfortunately, because uh, Western Ukraine is contested, the fighter can only go to either friendly or other contested territories that um, it has units there. So it couldn't go and attack hostile Romania. So he had to re-roll that battle, and it didn't work out in his favor. He only got one hit on, against me in the re-roll. It was uh, um, privately sent uh, over. It wasn't worth making another video just for that. Um, so there's still one Russian infantry here in Romania. Um, Whew. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, and then he just left the fighter in Western Ukraine. Okay, so, uh, in terms of what I'm doing, um, I got one kind of ballsy attack to do. I'll just mark it with a combat marker because why not for posterity? Um, let's see. Okay, actually, you know what? Um, I might do a second attack, but anyway, let's just do this uh, first and see how I feel. So, I'm going to attack in Belarus. It might not be a good idea in the long run, but I'm going to do it. So, um, since it's an opportunity to get to some valuable units here, so I'm going to try and try and do that. So, my fighter in Central Russia is coming into Belarus along with the two infantry in Central Russia, the cavalry and the artillery, and I am going to take this uh, elite tech that the U.S. gave me, that they shared with me, and I'm going to apply it to the two infantry in Central Russia, which will come in, and they'll be able to pair with a third that's in there. Plus, I'm also going to tow an infantry and an artillery from Ingria into that, so bringing that in. So those, I'm going to those toads, I'm just going to put them on the side there. And then the fighter from Ingria is going to come in as well. So I'm coming in with two fighters. He has his German ace fighter. So there is going to be a dogfight, our second dogfight of the game, and a second one in Belarus. Uh, one infantry from Ingria will step over to Karelia. One inf the Romanian infantry will rail to central Russia. The cavalry in Urals will stay put. The two infantry and artillery in Tuva will step up to Urals. And then the infantry artillery in Urals, I'm gonna rail, let's see, um, this artillery will rail to central Russia, and this infantry will rail to eastern Ukraine. And I'm gonna back just about everything out of western Ukraine. So, one, two, three. I'm actually gonna tow three artillery to central Russia from western Ukraine with those cavalry. And then I'm gonna back up everything else except for one infantry in Western Ukraine. And that means I am gonna sacrifice the trench works, but that's what we're doing. Um, three infantry in Crimea will step up to, actually one, sorry, two, sorry, my bad. Two infantry will step up to Eastern Ukraine from Crimea and one will move over to Volga. Okay, and the other attack I was considering, uh, he built a sub in C-Zone 26, so I am going to, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to attack it with this Dreadnought. He would get first strike and there's a mine, but it's still one against one. Let's see. 
Avengers. And then he'd be able to try to strike me. You know what? No, I'm just going to... He's going to hang tight. I'm not going to do it. He's going to hang tight. Okay. Um, let's see. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Oh, one second. Swap a unit for a chip so that there's three infantry with that machine gun there in eastern Ukraine. Move that over there. Get it all nice and order like. Okay, so we got this battle to do. We got a dog fight. I got the dice laid out. Um, these are my two fighters. This is his ace fighter. And then um, I got my three elites, his three machine gunners, and these are the possible artillery that will get boosted. I'm coming in with six artillery, so those might get boosted. He has seven artillery, and then he has three infantry, three elite infantry, basically. They're defending at three, and he has three machine gunners. Okay, so let's do this dogfight. You know, scary stuff. Okay, so I got, I got two twos coming at him. Let me just get the whole thing in frame. Miss. He's got a three. Okay, down to one. Got a hit, okay. He fights back, and he misses. Excellent, okay. I lost a fighter, but it went in my favor. Okay, which means one of my fighters gets to participate. The ace fighter upgrade doesn't occur until after, he's, that, that fighter will become an ace if it survives this battle. Um, um, it, it still participates in the combat, but the ace promotion doesn't happen until like it has the pilot has survived the entire battle, you know. So, this these six artillery that I'm attacking with will get bumped up to four, and his seven artillery stay defending at uh, three. Actually, only only I had seven, but since he only had one air unit, it would actually only bump up six. So. Would have caught that anyway, but whatever. Okay, so I got this. He's got that. So could be this could still be a terrible idea. Who knows? But just want to see what happens. So I got one cavalry, one fighter, three uh, machine gunners, and well, actually, you know what? One second. Mm, let me think about that. Eh, I already started rolling. Three machine gunners, and uh, three elites, and six artillery. Okay. Mm, could have been better, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. Oh, that's it. That's a hit. Eight. And those are misses. Okay. So I got eight hits on that. Still pretty decent, but hope so I was hoping for a little higher. But still pretty decent. He will return fire with three fours for the machine gunners. And what was it? Uh, seven artillery. He's got six. He's got seven artillery and three elite infantry which are basically just the same as regular infantry, but there's one there. They, they defend the same. They would be paired. I just didn't swap them out. So here we go. Okay. Ooh, pretty good one. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooch. Okay. So that hurt me more than him, but... Whatever. So he's got eight units. Let's see. Um, one, two. I'm assuming we'll take that. So that's four infantry right there. I'm assuming he wants to keep on to those. Maybe he'll want to take an elite, but he's got four infantry there. I'm just put these guys on the 
battle board for now before I put them in the boneyard dish. Uh, and I'm assuming, like I said, I'm assuming he wants to keep both of these. So one, two, three, four, four artillery. And then another two artillery. Right? Yeah. So I'm assuming he is taking four infantry. If he wants to take the elite or the machine gunner, feel free, but I assume that's the case. Um, and then four infantry and six artillery. Oh, wait, hold on a second. My bad. That's too many hits. I apologize. Three, four. Yeah, sorry. My bad. Maybe put two of those artillery back. I got I got eight hits, not ten. So, four four infantry, four artillery. I assume I'm assuming is what his, his casualties are. He got nine against me. One of them's going to be the attacking cavalry, and then let's see, attacking cavalry. Um, I'll just put those guys over there. The towed the towing artillery, uh, not not artillery, towing uh, cavalry. Two. Take the infantry. So that's four right there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just take, let's see, I'll lose. I gotta keep one, so take two more infantry. So that's one, two, three, six. So I need three more. So that'll be three artillery. Okay. Now that ace does get promoted to being, I'm sorry, that fighter gets promoted to an ace. Now I realize I didn't specify which one that was, the, which, which fighter I lost. Uh, the fighter I lost, let's just go with that's the one that came from Ingria, so this one can move if I want to, which, yeah I do. He's gonna fly back to Central Russia. Okay. Alrighty. And that's looking good. I realized I forgot to move my infantry in Irkutsk. So one, two, three, four, five infantry from Irkutsk. Uh, step those guys up to Siberia. And yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw those guys in my dish. I'll leave his casualties aside if he wants to change that up for some reason. Um, he has to keep at least one infantry, but he could take the elite infantry if he wanted to. I wouldn't take up the machine gunner, but uh, he can take the elite one if he he can take the elite one if he wants to. If he uh, takes the machine gunner, um, then he loses out of the machine gun, and uh, yeah. Anyway, that might be a little more valuable in defense. Uh, let's see. Um, new stuff, new stuff. Fighter goes down in Ingria. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put two infantry in central Russia. Make that. Let's see. I'll do three infantry in central Russia, three infantry in Ingria. The two artillery, the rail goes down in Amur, and the two artillery will go down in, let's see, two artillery down in Petrograd. It seems like that makes the most sense. Okay. Get that out of the way. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, oh, also, side note, because he didn't take over Romania as Austria-Hungary, he doesn't get convoyed for that since he didn't take over the territory. So he doesn't lose any IPCs, but he doesn't uh, collect any either. So, uh, let's see. I'm at 26 on the tracker. 26 on the tracker. And... 
no national objectives. Not just yet, at least. And there you go. So we have 26. Um, oh, you know what, actually? Okay. Let me get that, that marker. Okay. Uh, disposition. Think actually. I think real quick about this. Yeah, okay, so Ingria has a fighter, three infantry, two artillery, one infantry is in Karelia. Um, Central Russia has two cavalry, sorry, three cavalry, four artillery. There's one hidden beneath, but one ace, and then. Four infantry. There's one infantry in contested Western Ukraine, along with a trench works, one in Crimea, one in Volga, one in Romania. Um, Eastern Ukraine has three uh, machine gunners, machine gun infantry, two regular infantry, and then five artillery. And then um, Belarus has two cavalry, one elite infantry, three machine gun infantry, and three artillery. There's one Dreadnought in 25, two Cruisers in 34. Um, Urals has a Cavalry, two Infantry, one Artillery, and then there's five Infantry in Siberia. Okay, so that about does it for the Russian Empire. On to the German Empire. Uh, let me just quadruple check. Yeah, that's, that's about it. All right, till later.